Kugor Nagashlem to Udongsan Hima. Kaskol ba North Eastern Hill University kalapentip bakan penya cakmat ban pentrai kam yang national education policy arhajar arpo nado katayo bening kong jo benai nailar arhajar arpo lai hagi jaka puli bapher bapher kiba penyeso pat kaskol ba ni hu habakren begilar patai kubor menda janmi jo ka khat hendai trek unai tung arhajar arpo lai vice chancellor ka university professor prabha shankar shukla Pulong bayar kini kerana lastnya hadian kajinya lang bagi principal jangki college bapher bapher balak mi lenti bahagai policy kanong kajing mentoi kena puli ling bahagai kajing trai lang jangki college bagi skill development center hagai jela ban sanjori ka sab kapong kabagi samla kidan. About the new and role of the North Eastern Hill University in overall academic development of the Johor North. North Eastern region of the country. Since uh, 1973, Nehu is, or, uh, Nehu along with uh, the teachers are working with the objective how to rise up and build the society of the uh, North East. One more thing I would like to mention here. Someone already even mentioned that before my journey, I received a call from the Meghalaya. What is your main objective after the joining as Vice Chancellor of North Eastern Hill University, Silam, Meghalaya? At that time, I clearly mentioned that my objective is to implement national education policy 2020-20 for the benefit of the jo hai meghalaya and generation and for the benefit of the youth of the country and after my joining i am already doing the rigorous effort for implementation of new education policy in the university we already have implemented new education policy for the PG student and the academic session of 2022-23. For UG student, we had already circulated letter to all the affiliated colleges of the NEHU uh, to implement new education policy from coming academic session which is going to start from the 1st August 2023. The exact number of skill development center of the Meghalaya. When I am trying after the discussion how to make a relation between the state government skill development center and colleges. After the discussion and deliberations then I will be in position to write the government of uh, Meghalaya. Without the discussion and election, I, I am not, I am central government, state government, I have their own, you have, I, I, can, I cannot direct the state government, I can only request them. You have this skill development research center and near colleges of the, you have this skill development center, either side, not college or any other college. So, this college can take the benefit of the skill development center of the, you have, not only the skill development center, also the ITI colleges are there. Colleges जो है even can bridge up या sign या move between the जो है ITI and the जो है college they can take the benefit. Another thing some small small thing just like on the nursing courses we already have the जो है even medical colleges private and government medical colleges इन लोग देखा है तो colleges can also take the benefit तो signing या move क्योंकि and understanding is required between the two colleges the two institutions without the without the under this understanding जो है even we cannot do anything. So first we would like to make the understanding between the two institutions. Either the state government institution or the central government institution. Not only those institutions, we have even several central government institutions in the Sila. Like that we have the aerospace center. Actually we have the meteorological center. We have the state statistical center. So with the discussion, I can also involve my students with the different activity of the different sectors 
and definitely my student will be benefited. How many are present uh, in the meeting conducted uh, by the state government? I don't know. Education minister is already there and CM is RBC there. We already discussed each and every point. First year, there is no any other infrastructure is required for implementation of new education policy. And everything already has been circulated to all the principal. He already mentioned, we already circulated a letter to all the principal. Even given the chance, if you have any problem, write a letter to the me. We have this problem. Definitely, I will be in position to conduct the training and other programs for the colleges. Even though if I am not able to solve their problem, I am ready to give him a chance for one year. So all the type of facilities is already available for implementation of new education policy in the colleges. Why? What is our objective? Our objective, our objective of the colleges, our objective of the uh, university to save the better future of our young generation. And all the principals are agree with this. Yeah. We are doing to our job. Yeah. And university is taking the initiative now. Earlier I don't know how many vice chancellors have taken the, uh, such kind of decision. But after my joining, I am taking decision. Even I am doing the rigorous effort for the betterment and uh, of the student better quality of the uh, student better to have even academic environment of the student and also not only the environment, also the employment of the student. That's why today I am in position to say that I have more than 5,000, 5,000 position for the student or young generation of the Mevali. And the first week we had to conduct the interview and this is the best and good benefit for the young generation of the Mevali. Even it is a choice of the student. And same thing is also available in the uh, new education policy. First year, if students are not uh, in position to complete their degree, he or she can drop out and can take part in the uh, interview. Sir, two to three years in the uh, industry. And again join the classes in second year. Second year, after completion of the second year, they must receive the uh, uh, diploma. And third year, the degree. The new education policy is totally framed on the basis of choice of the young generation. They are ready or they are not ready. If they are not ready, they have the chance to exit. I have already the even letters, mails. Letters issuing is different. Written by the colleges, not by me. I am ready to implement the new education policy. After years? this, I am going to conduct a meeting with the principal of the colleges. <coughs> One thing, how many principals have the problem to implement the new education policy? The first. Second thing, to involve the colleges for the uh, even uh, uh, to discuss if they are ready to going to include those colleges those uh, colleges, students in the uh, our uh, employment drive. So in, the, uh, uh, in the meeting, uh, I think I will be in position to discuss all the things and also even at the same time will be in position to know that how many are ready, how many are not ready. So in principle you want to implement but? Implemented. Circulated and implemented. In principle. I am going, I am find out the problems. What is, what is your problem? It may be some uh, colleges have to have different kind of problem. Some colleges have different kind of problem. The problem is it not a contradiction? Implemented and then you will go and ask them, how can you implement? Can you tell us clearly what is yeah, it? Yeah, already we have, have already conducted several meetings with the principal before the implementation. But who is implementing? Yeah. Who is to implement? The colleges, no? Colleges. The implementing authority is the jo hai, Nehu. Nehu, all the colleges are affiliated with the Nehu, no? And Nehu, our institution, our vice chancellor, our rules, we follow the rules and regulations of government of India. Okay. I cannot go beyond the rules. Let me very sim be simple. 
That's why Nehru teachers are jo hai, instructing the students also to complete, complete the examination, net examination or CSIR examination or uh, SLEP examination. How long, yes, I think, you, how long will you take to conduct the yes, training? Yes, I think, hopefully in this week. In this week, going to conduct. That is what I am saying. The yeah. time is too short. So you cannot say that from August 1st, it has to be ready. That's what we said, no sir. We have mentioned in the letter clearly that those institutions who are ready to implement the NEP, who are in a position to accept the letter, the proposal of the <coughs> university, they will respond and most of the colleges have responded. We don't have the exact number right now with us. Maybe in uh, due course of time we'll give you the right number. Okay. And some of the colleges who are not ready, they'll give us with the justifications of why they are not in the position to start. What is their problem? After, after we study, <coughs> after the NEP implementation committee, which I mentioned that Professor Sherwin is heading, after she, uh, we study those uh, difficulties and uh, problems with the uh, colleges, if they have any problem, we'll study and whether if it is justified then like yeah. it's mentioned in the letter, for some colleges which are not in the position to start, some of the colleges like standalone colleges which have only arts or humanities stream, maybe for them uh, the university will come up with some of the solutions. There is a committee to study on those things. So those, that committee will study and then we'll just decide on that. Earlier education policies were not like that. But this education, that's why the drop out percentage was, uh, I think, more in the uh, past years. And uh, as I know, as I remember, the drop out percentage of the Meghalaya is more than 9%. More than 9%. This is already happening. So I would like to reduce the drop out percentage of the student. So this is my object. Our Prime Minister is and also the uh, Chief Minister of the Meghalaya time to time we are mentioning about the uh, startups and other. And Nehu is already doing the work in this area. That's why the before few days one news published by the Sri Lanka Times came uh, uh, innovation center of the Tura campus produce more than one ton honey, organic honey, with the help of the local people. So we have already started the work to have in this area. Another thing is going to develop a new platform in the campus of the Nehu, especially for the employment of the jo hai, Nehu, Nehu student first Second, going to give the chance to all students of all the affiliated colleges. And third, also going to involve the local society. So with this way, even I will be in position to preserve the gap between the society and the Nehu. And also uh, with this way, I can say the student uh, of the Meghalaya will be benefited and uh, they have the opportunity to work with the industry, different kind of industry in the country. We already had signed uh, more than five companies to develop a academia and uh, industry relationship. And we have more than 6,000 I am saying more than 6,000 positions for the jo hai, young generation of the Meghalaya, some for the jo hai, even common graduate student, some for a specific area graduate, either the tourism or the chemistry or the B.Tech and others, and some for the jo hai, MBA student. We are just going to provide a platform and uh, going to conduct the interview in the first week of the jo hai, August. So this is my objective as I mentioned in the first one, with the new education policy, even this is an opportunity for the young generation of the Meghalaya. The universities are coming with the to have employment uh, positions. Universities are going to uh, provide a platform to their students with the help of the university. Even 
our student jo hai can participate in the interview and uh, they can take the benefit uh, after jo jo hai passing out of the jo hai interview so this is a good opportunity for the jo hai young generation of the jo hai so this is my objective just want to make a correction because you have to think <coughs> recently got to go ahead with the proposed implementation of the four year undergraduate program scheme right away you can approach the university authority detailing your difficulties and giving due justification in support subject to your justifications being reasonable the university may consider to extend the implementation timeline of the new scheme at your esteemed institution by another academic year at the most so we the, the letter is very clear, clear. that we will be giving time to there because there are colleges which are ready which are ready to implement four year undergraduate uh, programs let me we'll bring one thing one more thing here so, uh, see all the most of the central universities in the country have already started four year undergraduate programs so it will be difficult for our students to you know uh, to compete with the four year uh, to compete with the students from the rest of the country with the rest of the country because when they go and compete for higher studies say for masters of uh, post graduates or uh, phd's they will find it difficult to uh, compete with those students so that's why it's very very necessary that we train our students we prepare our students to compete with the students with the rest of the country therefore also keeping in mind that some of the colleges may not be ready as yet so therefore we have uh, given this time frame that provided that they give pro proper yes. justification pro pro proper justification problem? then i think i am i am able to solve their problem <coughs> sir so how many uh, colleges uh, uh, of the 110th meeting of the academic council of the university uh, that was uh, the academic council has uh, duly endorsed the implementation of the new education policy 2020 from the coming academic session and which is also endorsed by the executive council of the university and we will be starting the four year undergraduate program in uh, as envisaged by Uh, the NEP 2020 regulations, with effect from the coming academic uh, sessions, a proper uh, uh, communication has been made to the principals of the affiliated colleges of the university as well, to all the um, concerned uh, stakeholders uh, with the NEHU along with NEHU, and uh, uh, we have been rigorously working on the new education policy. As we all know, we have set up, right, sir. we have set up a committee uh, committee on the implementation of new education policy chaired by professor shervin m sumo who is also now the chairperson of the state education uh, committee to implement this new uh, state education committee her team uh, professor sumo along with her team has done a rigorous uh, job in uh, framing the new education syllabus for uh, the undergraduate courses and uh, which has been as i have already mentioned has been uh, passed by the academic council and duly endorsed by the executive uh, council i have with uh, me here uh, the letter and uh, the recruitment placement of graduates from nehu also the re uh, recruitment and placement of graduates of the affiliated colleges of nehu the collaboration of affiliated colleges uh, of nehu with the skill development centers in the state of meghalaya for the smooth implementation of NEP 2020 because as we know that uh, one of the areas where NEP 2020 uh, is uh, concerned with is the skill development of the students of the country so if you a few weeks or few months and get trained in those centers say like university nehu is also having many skill development centers here as well as in tora as in joy in wayajar wayajar also so uh, university can also you know help colleges in intern students in taking at them as interns so university is also suggesting advising the colleges 
to collaborate with different uh, skill development centers which are in the state so that students can get well trained because skill development is one of the key principles of uh, NEP 2023 to make our students skillfully educated.